TL or Clipper installation and update helper. It's a tool that's uh, designed for Clipper that lets you install and update Clipper and along with that Moonraker, Mainsail, Fluid, Octoprint, Clipper Screen with Web Control 2 for Clipper which I don't recommend by the way and even lets you install multiple instances of uh, Clipper and uh, software like that and uh, yeah it's a pretty useful tool by the looks of it I personally never used this but I got a few questions about this so I think it's time to make a video about this showing this in action so for that I um, just created a blank install of uh, Raspbian Lite or Raspberry Pi OS Lite they rebranded that on a uh, Raspberry Pi Zero and uh, yeah we'll see how well this works and uh, the installation seems to be pretty simple you just clone the repository and then run the script so I guess let's just do that well after installing git that is and now that it, git is installed let's try this again and now we're copying the Kiao repository and uh, yeah it's a pretty small uh, tool so it should, should be already copied and now we just run the script and that should let us install Clipper and uh, everything else that's related to that so yeah let's just run that and uh, yeah this is the interface it's running from the terminal obviously so it's not a you know a usual click type of interface this is not running in a web browser or anything but it's pretty straightforward I think yeah it just looks like you should just type one and there we go it's the install menu so uh, yeah let's start by installing clipper and uh, yeah that could be the home directory yes install and now this should install clipper uh, it's asking how many instances I want to set up uh, as I said this tool lets you install multiple instances of clipper so I don't know let's just go with two I guess and uh, see how well that works I've never done that before I only run one clipper per Raspberry Pi normally but we might as well try and looks like the first instance has finally installed and now it did the second one as well it doesn't take as long this took a while because this is running on a Raspberry Pi Zero not because of Kiao or anything like that so uh, don't take that as a representation of the speed it's just uh, the Raspberry Pi Zero it is what it is so uh, yeah let's go to the main menu again and there we go we can see two instances of Clipper installed now I don't know if this is possible but now I'm going to try to install uh, Fluid on one and Octoprint on the other and see if that works and uh, yeah we'll see about that so uh, to install a uh, fluid I have to install Moonraker. Moonraker is the API that enables the usage of mainsail and fluid so uh, yeah it's needed so install that and uh, I don't know if this is going to ask to uh, about which instance it uh, I'm going to install it to or just install it for both I don't know let's see uh, yeah, it's asking to install two Moonraker instances. Let me see if it lets me install it on one if I say no. no. I have to install it on two, so yeah, I guess let's just do that. Okay, apparently it's now installed and it's given me two IP addresses for both instances. Again, this is the API address, not the address for the web interface. So, as I said, I want to try installing Fluid and let's see if it lets me even install it separately so uh, let's see now it's going to install it for both instances so uh, you have to be okay with that uh, fortunately fluid does have a few features for uh, managing multiple instances of clipper so uh, yeah you'll see that in action once we log in and uh, well yeah it looks like this one was pretty quick so uh, yeah, I guess let's just go to the IP address and see what we get. And uh, yeah, Fluid is here. It's attempting to connect etc. because the, uh, fir uh, the firmware isn't configured. I didn't do anything with uh, printer.cfg. But uh, yeah, we can see that it is connecting to the Clipper installation itself 
you can uh, tell that by the fact that it says Clippy host software is attempting to connect, which is the connection between Clipper to the MCU. And uh, for Fluid to be able to read that, it needs to connect via Moonraker. So uh, yeah, we know that everything is working based on that. And uh, yeah, let's just try to see if we can find uh, both printers here somehow. Yeah, you just add another printer. Let's see what the IP address was of the other one. Uh, doesn't let me scroll. Of course it doesn't. Not really. I guess I'll guess uh, whatever the first one was, the second one was uh, one higher, so let's just copy the IP here. to this and there there we go we can now see that fluid can switch between both installations of clipper as well let's just check the update in, uh, interface as well and uh, of course this is running from a uh, pi zero so that's why it takes a while but uh, there we go we can see that everything is uh, up to date and uh, yeah we, as a result we don't need to update anything but uh, yeah I'd imagine if you enter the number of that it's, it will let you update as well so uh, yeah you can see that this thing is uh, pretty useful personally I'm not going to use this not because it's not useful or anything as I said it's useful it's just that I'm used to just uh, Flashing Octopi and then installing Clipper on top of that is pretty simple. It's the thing I did with my V2 and my MPCNC, and I may or may not do that with my V0 in the future as well for uh, the Spaghetti Detective integration because that's currently running main sale, which uh, the Spaghetti Detective doesn't support. But uh, yeah, I'm just used to that. But uh, if you want to install them using a UI like this, this is uh, pretty useful also. Uh, this lets you install multiple instances of Clipper, which can be pretty useful as well. Uh, for example, if you only have one Raspberry Pi, but if you want to control multiple 3D printers using Clipper, this would come in pretty handy. And uh, yeah, you can save a few dollars that way if you want. Now, I wouldn't try that with a Raspberry Pi Zero or something like that. That thing is barely enough to run uh, really anything. And yeah, it doesn't even Raspberry Pi Zero isn't even recommended for Clipper plus Octoprint. It's only for Clipper with any of the other UIs. So uh, yeah, I wouldn't do that with a Pi Zero. But any other any other Raspberry Pi, especially Raspberry Pi Four and probably Three as well, it should be able to handle it. So uh, yeah, if you have uses for that, that can be very useful as well. But uh, yeah, that's it for this video. I just wanted to highlight this uh, tool because it could be useful to some. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. So hope you found it useful and thanks for watching.